Hey guys, here Marta Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys my hands-on look and review of the Game Recorder Plus app for Samsung Galaxy phones. Now, this app came out, uh, I would say, almost more than a month ago, but I didn't make a video because it was running a little bit laggy on my phone. So yesterday, it got a very, very big update. So now it's compatible with a lot of phones, and it also runs a lot more smoother on my Galaxy Note 4. Uh, back then, phones that were only compatible with this phone was the Galaxy S6, S6 Edge, Note 4, Note 3, Note 2, uh, the S4, and the S5. Keep in mind, those phones need to be on 5.1 Android or above. And the new devices, the new phones that were added to the list is the Galaxy S6 Active, S5 Active, S5 Active, Note Edge, and the Note 3 Neo. So I never heard, I can't remember hearing that name, but yes, Note 3 Neo is compatible with this phone. Now let me go ahead and show you guys here in settings, so you guys can see something here in settings. What I like about this app is that you can either choose right here, for example, front facing camera, it's gonna start recording your face while you're playing, which is awesome, it looks very cool. And you can also resize the image of your face right here. Let's go ahead and put it like that right there. Um, also, if you don't want your face being recorded, you could go ahead and select image. And right here, choose an image from your, galaxy, uh, from your gallery and all that, or take a picture if you want. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in front-facing camera. Here, choose the microphone. You could choose a microphone, record the audio using the microphone, or mute the audio. I'm going to leave it there. Over here, record touch interaction. If you tap right there and turn it on, every time every time you play and touch the screen, your um, every every spot you touch at, that's going to be recorded and people will be able to see it. That's good for when you're doing hands-on on an app or something like that. That's good. Um, here, quick record. Um, so I think by default it's off, but. Um, if you turn it on, show the record button automatically while playing a game. So that means you don't have to start this app to record a game. Every time you start a game, you're going to see the record button, which is also a very cool feature. Um, here, Game Boost. Uh, when you turn it on and you boost and you turn on the game, start playing, it's going to boost your phone so you can play the, the game a little bit better. Resolution. You got 1080p, 720, 540, 480, 360p. So you could choose whatever resolution you want. Honestly, I'm going to leave it on 720p because the file is going to take less space. 1080p is going to take a very, very humongous space. And uh, one thing that I don't see here is an option to choose your SD card as your video um, destination that would have been great to have the, the SD card I hope they actually bring that in the next update um, here bitrate audio I just leave it on auto adjust the rate audio depending on the resolution I leave it there here you could go ahead and put your YouTube account your YouTube account which is awesome here you could go ahead and choose uh, 3G and LTE to upload your videos to YouTube honestly since I don't record videos when I'm on the go so I just leave it off and everything else is okay there uh, one feature that I want Samsung to add is the ability to choose an SD card to record your videos to but the problem is is that I don't think they're gonna bring it because uh, right now they're going to no SD cards which totally sucks uh, when you tap right here uh, first of all, if you have videos recorded, it's going to appear right here. It's going to be a little tab when you're going to tap on it. Right now, you don't see no tab because I deleted all the videos that I had. So I could start this video. Uh, when you tap here, you can see all the games that are installed on your phone and that are compatible with this app. If you don't see your game here, you could tap right there. And let's say you look for a game that it's not on that list. Uh, I think every phone that I, every game that I have is on the list. So I'm going to go ahead and choose another game, uh, an app. Let's go ahead and choose PlayStation app and choose register. When you choose register, it's going to automatically, you see there, you can, not, you can only register game apps downloaded from the game category. Okay, so right now it failed because that's not a game. If it was a game, it would register the game and it would later on appear here. That's good. So right here, let's go ahead and test it with a game here. Let's go ahead and test it with Xeno work. There you go. Look at that. Like you see there, it automatically boosts the phone. 
before starting the game. Oh wow, it's starting the game. And what I like about this um, app is that automatically it doesn't start recording right away when you start the game like other apps. You have the record button right here and you can start recording whenever you want. Uh, so let's say I want to start recording now. I just tap on it. And like you see here, oh, oh look at that. Now we see my face right there, the front facing camera is recording the gameplay. Uh, you can also move it from the way, like you see there. And remember, you are recording, so this is also gonna appear on the video. So let's go ahead and put this right there. Uh, let's go and start a, a video here. Put that right there. There you go, let's, I can move this to the sides. And uh, right here. So I gotta say, the game is working a lot more better now. This app is recording a lot more better now. And, okay. of course, right now, since we choose the microphone to record the audio, it's going to record me talking and the gameplay. And it does a very good job doing that, too. Okay. Now this game is pretty badass, I love it. There you go, there you go, I got that right there. Okay. So now let's say I want to quit recording this uh, gameplay. I could either, no I could just tap right here on the image right there. And look at that, saving the video. And there you have it. Go to, I could tap right there and it'll take me to the video or I could just go ahead and keep on playing. And right now it's not recording. And that's what I like about this app. That's what I like about this app. That you can easily start recording and pause the video. Oh yeah, look at that. And then you can, let's say I want to start again. I don't think I can again. Oh yeah, look at that. The record button is still there. So right now if I want to record another section, oops. Okay, let's go ahead and try to record another section here. Okay. Now you see here, it's running perfectly great on this phone. And if you play this app, uh, like in the Galaxy S5, it should work a lot better too. That right there. Look at that, I can go ahead and freeze everybody. <laughs> so now let's say I want to start recording again. That right there. Look at that. Start a recording. So that's awesome. And of course, I could go ahead and move it over here. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and finish the recording again. And now it's done. Look at that. And now if I tap right there, it takes me right here. And open right there, and voila, look at that, the two files that I recorded. Uh, you can see the size of the file, 5522. You could download it to your gallery, but another cool feature that this has is that if you click the more, you have the edit, click edit, uh, choose this one, uh, choose more again, and here you can edit the video, trim, rename, save to gallery. You could tap right there. You can see some more detail about the video. 55 megabyte, the resolution, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here, let's go ahead and, for example, trim it. Look at that. I could go ahead and move. Let's say I want to move this uh, here, right here where the video starts, right? Where the gameplay starts, right there. I'm going, okay, yeah, right there. And like you see here, you see my face moving around as well. I'm just going to leave it there. And this, I could go ahead and move it right there. And click save. Right here, I could go ahead and change the title. Let's 
testing app click right there that saves the video awesome and look at that so it saved right, right the video right here cut the size from 55 to 38 and we could go ahead and tap it right here Look at my face. Let's go move this to the size. And right here. So I gotta say, the game is working a lot better. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. And from here, too. Look at this. From here, you can also. Let me lower this the volume here. From here, you can also edit the video. Look at that. If I tap right there, you can edit the video, delete the video. Click right here edit it takes you back to the edit or you can even share the video as well too look at that it takes you right here again and click back click there if I want to delete the video I could delete the video and uh, that's it. it should delete the video right yeah and look at that it deleted the video if you want to delete a video easier just press and hold right there like you see there press and hold and it'll delete the video just it and also if you tap right here and click edit and click here and click more save to gallery and now it's saving the video like you see there saving the video to your gallery so you can find it that a lot easier so guys that's it i just wanted to share this um awesome app for all you android user like you see there it boosted the the app again that's awesome i like that uh, let's go and click here get out of here so yes this is honestly a awesome app that i wish it was available on more devices so and it's free but hey it runs a lot better now if you have a galaxy phone you will enjoy it a lot more now so guys thanks for watching the video this was a hands-on look and review of the game recorder plus for samsung galaxy devices till next time guys